for our final week of You Don't Know June. Ah! It's time to play the most recent iteration of You Don't Know Jack. In 2015. Now, Jackbox has kind of pivoted from doing You Don't Know Jack and, you know, single release things. Now they do party game party packs, I suppose. And You Don't Know Jack has made an appearance on two of them. All so... Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was about to say, all the games on the different party packs vary in quality, in my own personal opinion. You Don't Know Jack's always a winner. Uh, Trivia Murder Party is definitely always a winner. Mad vs. City. If I had to give a ratio, I'd say it's like uh, 80%, 8 to 2 are extremely good and good for an audience if you have an audience. Well, there's 10 to choose from, so I don't think you can go wrong with any of them. Unless if they're like, is there anyone that you should avoid? You know, like, I don't know. Every single party pack has a really big winner. And I think it's a tie between Madverse City and You Don't Know Jack. Well, we're here for You Don't Know Jack, that's so that's why. let's go! Yeah! And there's a special part to this uh, finale of You Don't Know June. The party packs offer the ability to bring in an audience. Oh. The gold so I think we're going to do that. Uh, we need to uh, go ahead and play for the full stream here. And the best part about this game is only one person needs to own the full game. And everybody else gets to play on their phone or on their PC. So here's the code for you. I'll go ahead and jump in as well. Oh. I'm in! Automatically choose, uh, knows what I'm talking about. That's good. Yep. And the first person who comes in is the VIP. They're the one that starts the game. So now, mom, let's see if we can get an audience in here. Let's go. All right. Looks like fun. we got some people in here. We should keep us going for a bit. Let's, uh, good warm-up game. Good warm-up game. All right, let's go. Everybody's in. Now, I'm really hoping I don't mislead the audience that we have, and I hope they get told the questions. Let's, I don't remember. Let's find out. Binge Pipe is pleased to bring back. Oh, go ahead. I got an achievement. Oh my god. Binge Pipe. That's a lot. It's Bringing been years. Consumption into I think there's only like ten achievements or something like that, equaling a thousand somehow. We're not oh. from the future. Ah, oh, Binge Pipe. <laughs> Welcome to the game. I'm Cookie Masterson. Hey, and Cookie. And a quick warning, if you are pregnant, you technically count as two players. So, the <laughs> accordingly. Before we begin, did everyone figure out which cast member of Riverdale they are? Good. Oh. Oh, I'm glad he didn't ask me for names. I think it was me. Okay, no turning back. <laughs> Time for question one. To get started, fireball bad. How might Frankenstein's monster tell his creator that he's <laughs> inebriated? <laughs> Grr, I'm drunk AF. Okay, it does say the question F good. Grr, I'm drunk AF BF. Mm. Ooh. I'm drunk AF GF. Or. Oh. Uh, F -F. I don't know about this one. I actually remember this. Let's see if I'm actually right. Okay, let's take a look. Victor Frankenstein? The creator of Frankenstein's monster was Victor Frankenstein. Yes. Uh, woohoo! And if I explain what AF means, uh, it might adversely affect our game rating. Oh, ho, ho. I, th I, I think we may oh, need to stream to this. To yep. There's a lot of, that they're missing here. Let's try. <laughs> yeah. Let's Ooh, I think we can do that. Yeah. We'll swap it over. It'll be fine. Okay. Are way too whiny. And that includes the ancient Vikings. What was that little monster Grendel running to his mom to tell oh, about? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, the red stole uh, my land. <laughs> Thor trapped me uh, in ice. Oh, uh, got it, got it, got it. Yep, yep, yep. Sven Forkbeard easy. ate my horse. That's easy peasy. Sven Forkbeard. <laughs> Sven Forkbeard <laughs> ate my horse. <laughs> mommy, mommy, he ate my horse. He ate my horse. Who got it? How what? dare you besmirch the good name oh, okay. of Sven Forkbeard? <laughs> it, it has the to go through the he incorrect in. answers. Beowulf rips Grendel's arm off. I like Beowulf. I do too. And Grendel's mom. Was oh, we have an audience member. I just realized. Hey, hey, hey what's up? I think we really need to stream yeah. this now. Uh, definitely, yeah. Uh -huh. Sorry, uh, small miscalculation. We'll, we'll stream the next round. Three. 
Here's one I like to call Find the Leakers. And it's a diss or dash. Oh, please. If it's Puro or I'm Midori. <laughs> phrases, and for each, I want you to tell me if it's Donald Trump's 11 Oh, step my God. From lie, the lie, deal, lie. Make the deal. Advice from Say it's rigged. That's all you got to do. Lie, lie, lie. Fast, make the deal. WebMD? Donald Trump or. Bed <laughs> I wonder why those two are related. Hmm. Hmm. It comes. Oh, that doesn't say uh, bed big. shitting. Oh, uh, uh, bam. Oh, that's how they do dis or dats. Interesting. Right. Okay. Uh, would this really be bedwetting? No sure. way. Sure. Oh my god. I deliver the goods. I, I, I want. I want to deliver the goods when I'm bedwetting. <laughs> I got her off. Use your leverage. I think I know which one that is. Yay! Address misconceptions. Oh. Yeah, Trump has been known for addressing misconceptions. Bedwetting is not your fault. It's something in your brain. Encouragement. I always encourage my best employees to shit the bed. Eat shit. <laughs> Have, fun. <laughs> Have fun. Have fun. Have fun with the bed, that's, sucker! That, that sounds like Trump. He's like, ah, just, 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 just always have fun. Have fun with the bed. What's wrong with you? Teamwork to be this bad. <gasps> wow, but seven of seven. Look you at you. Hey, hey, nice job, right. man. Right. Dissatisfaction has been noted. Sounds like it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Screwing during a oh. question makes life a little They get a screw the because they're... Oh. You know, you you know so that way we don't have just people screwing each other for every for question. Six people. Actually, eight people. Ten mm -hmm. questions. I eight screws. No way. That's a clever way to do it. Give yeah. it to the people who are in That's last. Who need it. Mm. Create context. Happy. Create discourse. Create friction. Create gameplay. <laughs> Oh damn! I don't care either. Homer delivery. Simpsons. Yes! Simpsons. If Amazon had been responsible for getting a oh, home to his wife after the Trojan War, which of these status updates would she mm. not have read? Oh. Ordered. The package is currently showing hubris. It's on the way. Package uh. making love to the goddess. Delayed. Package escaping from Mount Olympus. Or Dude, delivered. Trying to remember package what on your doorstep. She, you don't uh, recognize him. Well, I remember. I don't. That. Yeah, I don't remember. What? Oh. Okay, who chose what? Bah. You did not get this answer. We will try again tomorrow between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Look, right, because he so wasn't, you know, he's, he's not Kratos. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got me there, you got me there. He's not Kratos, he didn't escape from, from uh, Mount Olympus. Do you see that down below, Elon Muskin? <laughs> he muskin't indeed, he musk never again. Here's one for you. Remember Third Rock from the Sun? No, I no, don't. No, I don't. NBC Did we go over this? Third Rock, but set it on Jupiter instead of Earth. What would be the most appropriate name for the new show? Oh. Sixth Rock from the Sun, first mm. gas giant from the Sun, fourth inner planet from the Sun, or last multi-mooned planet That's from the Sun. Is it though? Yeah, it is. Oh. Now you're gonna make me look like an idiot. Like what you picked. Shit! Inner planets are the ones before That's the Mars. asteroid belt. Like how I this don't know astrology. Show that was on before you were born. Ow! Jupiter is the gas giant closest to our sun. I'll bet gas giants, gas giants are, are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Parents. Oh. Because their atmosphere is mostly made of what? Gas? Yes. <laughs> Thanks, teacher. <laughs> you have to say it yourself say so you learn. Learn! Round one. Let's see who's cheating. Uh-oh. It'd be me. Currently, oh, two get you, out of there. You've won every oh, single you. you don't know Jack. Down well, I do here. know Jack. These players are negatively affected. See, that's what UDJ averages. means. You do Jack. Your performance has triggered the need for more screws. <laughs> Round two screws have crazier uh -oh. effects. Once They're they armed. Bonus, uh -huh. player that gets uh -oh. the question wrong. So don't forget hey, to do guys. You better answer Can't wait to get screwed on the internet. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is double. Oh, good. In case oh, you care I could dig myself in. Now I'm not in the negative. Oh my god. You're, you're not. That's, that's good. Huh. Um.
Introducing Answer the Dern Question. Cookie, please. Language. Which Jurassic Park sequel does Laura Dern appear in? Oh, oh really? Can I phone a friend? I don't know this. Oh, I have never seen those. I don't watch them. Uh, uh, sure. I'll try that. It's not gonna work. I don't I'm think just, that's I'm just, correct. I'm just taking a screwy guess here. I'm just taking a goofy what, what guess. What'd you, what'd you guess? Three. Yeah, I guess Let's three as well. Let's see that shook out. I wasn't that. Jurassic Park 3 is the only movie in the <gasps> franchise yeah. that welcomes back Dr. Ellie Sattler, a.k.a. Laura Dern, a.k.a. the future Mrs. Masterson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll present yeah, yeah. <laughs> in your dreams. <laughs> oh, if, oh, if only, if only people. Me, 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 me. What's seven in French? Set. Feast your eyes upon this. The most poorly researched show on Earth. Oh, uh, Big Bang Theory. Which of the following statements about P.T. Barnum is the most historically accurate? Phineas T. Uh, Barnum faked a mermaid uh. using a monkey and a fish. Peter T. Barnum led 21 elephants across the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> Patrick T. Barnum lost two museums in a fire. Or Percival T. Barnum yeah, read just taking a guess for that uh, one, I guess. Yeah, uh, I kind of don't want to answer, but they're probably going to penalize me anyway. And how'd we do? <gasps> it's true, it. we made them release it early. At least P.T. Barnum did, not this person. That, that sounds like something that would happen about. in like mid-20s. Like, oh look, it appears I've died! P.T. Barnum sewed a monkey and a fish together to make a fake mermaid. In fact, all of these facts about P.T. Barnum are true, but his full name was also Phineas Taylor Barnum. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Look at but that! In those days, everybody was sewing monkeys and fishes together and passing them off as mermaids. It was basically the ice bucket challenge of its time. Oh. I'm bleeding from how much I pulled that out of my ass. <laughs> Up next, what do I do with all this frankincense? And uh oh, dress up kids dime store. Oh, they brought it back! What? It's they brought it back! Oh, it's a gibberish question! Yeah! Yeah! Remember to type quick. Okay, here we go. That cash will be counting down until you lock in an answer. Okay, head in the game. Look at the gibberish phrase and tell me what popular game it rhymes with. Group mer, trash others. And pay no attention to that punctuation. Iconic characters. And they excel at fighting. Mm. I don't know this. Oh. Are trash others. Got it. Got it. Battling video game siblings. I just went. I just went fucking blank. You're gonna kill yourself. I am. You're gonna hate yourself so bad. The Super Mario Brothers. No. It wasn't. Let's take a look. Player three. I don't know what this is, but it's not the right answer. <laughs> Any other bright ideas? It would be, wouldn't it? Oh. No. Okay. What was it? Super Smash Brothers. Booyah! Wait, that's Splatoon. Going. Sorry. Uh, good on you, good on you, good job. Thank you. Behold, that Dern cat. Again? Again? No, I can't stop thinking about Laura Dern. Uh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> She's the real right, deal, right. Right. right? So, if Laura Dern and I were in the same vinyasa yoga class, I mean, could you even imagine? <laughs> and we both arched our backs into cat pose, but then dropped our bellies and lifted our heads into Bidalasana, what's a cool thing I can <laughs> say to Laura Dern? <laughs> How's it going? What up, dog? Camel here often? Or, Ooh. for being you. Oh, interesting. Uh... Know the answer. I'm just pretending. I'm just pretending to you. Who picked what? Huh? That's oh, not downward. No. There's no way that's downward dog. You know what? Nobody got it. Let's just yeah. cut to the chase. Bitalasana is cow pose in vinyasa yoga and is commonly paired with. I didn't cat practice. Ah. I didn't. I didn't practice vinyasa yoga. And I didn't Laura practice yoga. I would laugh and laugh and. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> 
It's not worth it, Cookie. Conceive to meet you. <laughs> I love the ads. Oh, here's a good one. Ready Player One. Oh Lord. <sighs> this is embarrassing. I lost a fight to a baby, <laughs> but the baby had an unfair advantage. I'm an average adult, uh -huh. so that baby's skin is thicker than mine. That baby can see twice Ooh, as far as that me. One. That baby's muscles are denser That's than easy. mine. That's easy. Simple. That baby's got more bones than me. Ah. <sighs> huh. Yeah, baby's eyes are nuts, did you know? Let's see who got it. The average adult has 206 bones. Oh, the duh! The baby starts with 300 bones. That yeah, they form together. into your your big adult human so bones. That's why babies baby bend so fight, much. But yeah. I mean, don't like bend them all the way. They still got bones, but still. Turn them into a balloon animal. <laughs> a dog. I don't babysit anymore. A baby dog. <laughs> <laughs> ja oh, well. Jackbox. Oh, there we go. This should be a jack attack. Yep. There we go. Ah! Made it to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the character, uh, Elmo. You tap it on your device. The faster Thor you was an Avengers. Answer, the more he was. And more than one answer can be right. <gasps> Elmo was an Avengers. Wrong, I'm taking some cash. So away, there's multiples. Ooh, I like forget. this. Oh, wow, it's wow, gotta wow. be a match that fits this clue. Alliterative. <laughs> you know How good are you at alliteration? Right? Good luck. Good. What? Oh. Oh. Okay. Oops. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. My, I got. Okay. Oh, I get you. Oh. I see. I see. Uh. Oh, really? Okay. Jesus uh, crap. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. <laughs> What's up, Eminem? Ooh, I missed Kelly Clarkson. Shoot. Oh. Yep. Yep. Count Come on. Oh, jeez. Uh, Susan Storm, Abigail Adams. What? Wilhelm. Nice. I like this. I like this. Yes, this is a lot cooler. Ah, speaking of which. Calvin Coolidge. Uh, Woodrow Wilson. How about who was that? Hubert Humphrey. Yep. Uh, Ooh, shot. yep. Did you choose Walter White? Hey, when you think about it. Yep, yep. Oh, Harry Houdini, my favorite poet. Ooh, yeah. Nope. <laughs> oh, I did get a little extra money. So you can still choose an answer you didn't select before. Jeez! Yeah, but it normally goes with seven. Uh, uh, Olivia Oppenheimer? <laughs> that sucks. I think we got it. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. That's the end of the jack attack. That's it. Ooh, got some lag in there. That's okay, though. Oh, my yeah. God, I got it! <laughs> Nice work, player two. I'm happy for Good you. Good job, truly. mate. And that's coming from a man who chose not to feel things anymore. Just don't forget this. You don't know, Jack. I don't. All right, why don't we uh, yep. let, let the people see now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, we'll... uh, uno memento, poor favor. All right for live streaming. Let's play You Don't Know Jack Stream Box or whatever this is called. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. I'm not sure. Thanks for joining everybody. Here we go. Woo! Binge Pipe is proud to resurrect from the dead. You don't know Jack. Binge Pipe. If you have to ask, Binge Pipe. We probably aren't streaming it. 
<laughs> Guy! Oh, my face. In the face Hi, again. Ricky Masterson. I host this game and a weekly Boiled Eggs Appreciation Club that no one has ever attended. Eight players, huh? So I guess it wasn't a waste of time for our art team to learn to draw the number eight. And I see we've got some gawkers in the audience, which means <laughs> they'll be adding an audience bonus to every question. Ooh. See, I told you you guys get to play. Yeah, all right. Money goes to the players, but if the audience really tanks it, that right answer is going to be worth big bucks. Ooh. Okay, okay let's the go. audience actually has a chance to win. Let's go. That is hilarious. Yeah. Here we go. Time for question one. Time for First question on one. Docket, Thanks, grieving. Uh, oh. <laughs> what would someone with syngenesophobia? Oh, Jesus good Christ. lord! Ah, turkey! <laughs> <laughs> my parents! Or ah, my parents! I think. I think too. Yeah, I think. I'm not sure. Though. Mm, this is gonna be a toughie. Oh, and the extra time is for the audience, by the way. Yes. What'd you guys pick? No, this yes! is just great uh, when you oh. see the cranberries sing Salvation at the MTV Music Awards in 1996. <laughs> <laughs> the mm. turkeys is melee grisphobia, which is not what I asked about. Come on! <laughs> Syngenesophobia is... <gasps> Booyah! Because the genes. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Who's afraid of your genes? Okay, that makes sense. Fair. Wow, you think a group of people who've chosen to spend their time watching other people play a video game yeah. is smarter. <laughs> Ow! Ow! That's, that's rough. God damn! Well, I think we got some extra money out of that. Hey, yo. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Holy two, holy deuce, it's holy shit. Four. Every kiss begins with Klimt. If you've ever been in a college dorm, you know that Gustav Klimt painted the kiss, but I'm pretty sure he didn't paint anything called the next day phone call or the making a real commitment to this relationship. <laughs> if the lady from the Viennese painting the kiss were depicted going to town on a traditional Viennese dessert, what would that painting of her eating her Viennese feelings be Ooh. called? The tearful tiramisu, the sobbing in a soccer tort, the pitiful profiteroles, or the choking... Oh. Viennese. I think it's this. I'm pretty sure too. A majority of. I see. I recognize a lot of these. Mm -hmm. So what'd you pick? What were you thinking there? <laughs> I want a tiramisu. It's a decadent chocolate cake that was invented by Franz Soccer in Vienna, and it's just. Uh, of course. Ah, Vienna, France, soccer. Yeah. Okay. okay. In the Not end, bad. chocolate will never break your heart. I love soccer tort, and it's so good. <laughs> Channel 3. Coming up, obligatory Uranus pun. Ah. Time for wordplay. It's a diss or dad. I knew oh! it. <laughs> Here we go. Is it a dog's ass or a cat's ass? Some Sex in the City characters. For no. One, you'll tell me if they've got a ring. <laughs> There's not a ring. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Floating circle of space debris. Here we go. Quick, you'll only have a few seconds to choose between okay. ring or no ring. And sure. We're doing this together, so focus up. All set. Here we go. Saturn. Obvious. That was a gimme. Charlotte. Uh. uh nobody likes Charlotte. Get out of here. Damn it. Somebody did like Charlotte. Does? What? Wow. Probably not a very visible one then. I think I think it does have one, like a little bit of one. Oh shoot! Nobody likes Miranda. I bet you anything. I oh, like, I did. Okay. I like Miranda. Samantha. Samantha. But I don't like Samantha though. Get out of here, Samantha. Nobody likes Samantha. If your name is Samantha in chat, you're fine. Venus. Venus. Uh... I'm your Venus. I'm you. Okay. Oh, it, did, it, did, it doesn't have a ring. That was a the trick question. The of you are just average, but player four, you just plain sucked at that dis or <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> oh, okay. Congratulations, Hatsune Miku. You get a screw. I can't believe that we're doing a stream where Hatsune Miku gets screwed on air. 
using the screw. Oh, don't worry. It's only a week long ban. Variety of pleasurable ways. Or no, it was a three day ban. Monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. Is it a three day ban, five day ban, seven day ban, or perma ban? It's definitely not D. Before handing over sharp objects. Actually, Hatsune Miku would be considered a VTuber, so yeah, that's a perma ban. Yeah. And then you have to complain to Twitch and they'll get you unbanned. A soft, easily spread crime. <laughs> if Brie Larson were convicted of Brie Larson, <laughs> she'd be guilty of committing selling cheese without the <laughs> stealing cheese, counterfeiting cheese, or cheese. Oh, that's or awesome. I love this. Uh, that's 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 a heck of a oh question. Oh God! What is grand larceny? Uh, I think exactly. I got it. I think I'm wrong. I hope I, I hope I'm right. It's not counterfeiting, is it? It's important to check the authenticity of your cheese. Also, the authenticity of your answers. Don't. Stupid answers don't. That's get homicide. That's homicide. Larceny is the crime of taking property from possession of another. Uh, okay, it is stealing. I got the selling. Property. You know, stealing. I was incorrect. Dang. Dang old dang. Whoa, what's up, audience? I think the real crime is she didn't steal any crackers to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Take a good look at you up on your geography. No. Which of these would be an example of sliding into someone's DMZ? Ooh. Hey, Nicaragua, checking out your border with Honduras. Hi, Ireland, mm. visiting your border with Northern Easy. Ireland. What's up, India? Hanging out on your border with Nepal. Or South Korea, just passing through your border with North Korea. I don't know what DMZ means. You know, like the rapper, run DMZ. That doesn't help. It's it not even right. <laughs> the border between North and South Korea is a well-known DMZ or demilitarized zone. Oh, okay. Every Yay. It can get some military action, usually when Kim Jong Un is feeling lonely and had a couple oh, question of marks doing pretty good. Round one is dead to me. Remember these numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Currently, player six is in the lead. Oh, dang! Yeah, Five pretty... question marks. Congratulations! Wow. These players are making everyone uh -huh. feel bad. Market research well, Good job, four and eight. You're getting screws. screws. And remember, round two screws are more powerful. What? Gee, Hatsune Miku, how come your mom lets you have two screws? Don't be afraid to use them. The rest of you better answer quick, or you'll end up. Hatsune Miku screws a fan online. People go nuts. Time. Shh. Twitch is listening. Hey, Twitch. Hatsune Miku's about to screw someone live. Hey, wait, no, no. That'd be a good place for your video to just cut to black. Which Bruno Mars song title? Oh God. Uh -huh. The lazy song, 24K magic, rain, or grenade. Hmm. That one's easy too. How well do you know your Roman gods? Pretty good. He's got to find their Greek counterpart, and it's easy. Pick? I hope this doesn't put you in an uptown funk. But <laughs> Mars was the Roman god of war, so you yep. would probably be into a song about someone jumping on a grenade. Awesome! That sounds awesome! Haha! <laughs> of course, the Greek god of war is Arizona Grande. Uh, Could have been its own question. Mm. Oh well. Dad looked at Medusa. <laughs> 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 That's good. Time equals Ooh, bracket, programming language. Oh no. Global squiggly bracket. No. Oh. It's oh my! This is new. Do their dastardly deeds. Here's the data we scraped. Kate McKinnon, Nachamin, Navigieri, Zumbundestag, Vas East, Austerity. Whose search history have we acquired? Margaret Thatcher, Angela mm. Merkel, Indira Gandhi, or Benazir Bhutto? Totally making a guess there. Ooh, yeah, this is this is a big yeah, guesser. It's a big old fat a ass big guess. guesser. It would have been a great time to screw people. Just saying. Use those screws. Oh, we got a screw. Player eight just let loose a screw. Say, can you answer a moving target? 
Okay, who chose? Guess not. Was... Yep, this seems to belong to Angela Merkel, German chancellor mm. and widely regarded as one of the most powerful people in the world. She's also been played by Kate McKinnon on SNL. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you for helping us identify your global leaders. This information will help us with Binge Pipe's next phase. Nicely screwed play rate. Spend this wisely. Oh, oh, thanks. <laughs> $500? I thought you were getting like a couple thousand, hey, maybe. Keep the change. Keep the change. Oh, for my 50 Please cent piece? Wow. Gain some content while also losing some other content. Would I'm glad we're in an age where people don't know who Margaret Thatcher is. Or a question about faces. Vote on your devices now. Oh, a voting one. I think it's pretty obvious which one we want, people. Come on. You know it in your heart. How Come much on. does the internet want it? Let's hear it. Come Let's on. Let's see it. Oh, well, it says faces. Oh, okay. Vote for the other one. You have chosen. Wow, I thought you guys liked MILFs. You know, man, I love feet. Next up, no, it also I, works for man. I, I like faces. I am disappointed. Faces. In military terms, if you turned about face, Ooh. you would turn 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 know that degrees, one. or 360 degrees. Is a thing I do. I hope I'm right. Yeah, I hope I'm right too. So who got it? Let's call this a teaching moment. <laughs> okay, I was right. Turn about face yep. means to turn completely around, facing the opposite way. I marched. I knew that. And Good job, marching band man. I'm known as Cannon Fodder. <laughs> Lonely Chad <laughs> in I'm, New York City. I'm known as a big target. Here we have five hour mystery. Ooh. You know, Sherlock Holmes was never one to shy away from uh, performance enhancers. Right. Chugging which of these very real Ooh. drinks would most likely help Sherlock Holmes solve the mystery of the death of Charles Baskerville? Monster the Doctor, Monster Ripper, <gasps> Monster Metal, uh, Monster Rehab. Yeah. I think this is the only one that exists. I, I, I know. A I very mean. real energy drink, right? See, I am very proud of, of the fact that I have uh, cut out energy, energy drinks from my diet, and I think I'm about like, well, it's been like six months, maybe. Good for you. Yeah, I've been feeling, I've been feeling good. I don't, I don't even miss them. So what'd you pick? The cause of death was rehab. What? That's not right. Spoiler alert, it turns out Charles Baskerville was scared to death by a very large and angry dog. Oh, oh it was oh, asking for the oh, oh, I read the question no, wrong. No. Here's that Crap! That one was real. That, and they, they counted on that. Yeah, they counted, they counted on, on that. Yeah, uh, uh, Guess it's back to drinking energy drinks, I guess. But not monster. Back to rehab, I guess. Monsters are disgusting. The literary Nick Cannon. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Which of these insults would you not hear on the MTV show Oscar <laughs> Wilde? <laughs> <laughs> so old, his portrait grows wrinkles. They call you Ernest. Good I don't, you don't know this. As a husband, Sir Robert is less than ideal. <laughs> or what is this Torvald? Uh, I really don't know that. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, know, I don't, my, I don't know. I don't know my Oscar Wilde history. Uh, Have we argued yet or debated? Let's see who got it. No, we're just playing trivia, man. The importance of being wrong. <laughs> Ooh! The rest of these answers reference works written by Oscar Wilde. Except for the right answer, which this isn't because oh. the ideal husband is an Oscar Wilde play. Oh. Torvald is the male protagonist of A Doll's House, which was written by Henrik Ibsen, not Oscar Wilde. Ooh, okay. Wow. Money! A poet's ro rocking ahead here. Blow up doll. A worthy adversary. Yeah, died, died. No kidding. At the very end of You Don't Know June. Speaking of which. But, but, but it's not <laughs> over yet. It's not over yet, though. Time for the Welcome jack attack, ladies and gentlemen. Attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. Elmo was my favorite. Avengers! Avengers! Gotta be a match. Resemble! 
business clue. I love it when he. <laughs> I, I loved it when he punched. He can't find <laughs> when he tried to stop Hulk. Oh yeah. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Fight club. Uh, oh, damn it. Okay. Got, them. Got it. I'm gonna hold it. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, I missed one. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> you can't wish for Jafar to fall into Why didn't they do that in the actual oh, show? Man. They should have the movie. Bam. Dua Lipa? I actually know this song. Uh, don't be his friend. Just going by what sounds right. Uh, don't, uh, don't let him in. Yeah, okay. Dua Lipa! I don't know Dua Lipa too much. I only know this one song. Oh, I got it right. Huh. Uh, oh, what on uh, earth is this? Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay. Uh, bam. Yay! Got yeah, some right. money. There's just so I much okay. screaming on on the screen right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Ooh. Uh. Oh, seriously? Uh, think win win. Oh, that should be a good thing you should uh, do. Come on. Look at the knife. It's sharp with the saw. Oh, seriously? Don't lick the knife. Don't lick the knife, people. Come on. Oh wow, it was that. Bam, 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 bam. Just tree. Oh, gremlin. Uh. uh what? What? Wait. What? I have doubts. Uh. I have uh, doubts. I have questions. Wait, did that say before midnight? Don't feed him after midnight. Is for gremlins. Yoni J takes it! Yo, <laughs> takes it? <laughs> Are you kidding? Yeah! No! Yeah! That sucks! Yeah! That sucks so Woo! much! No! You've that. gotta be kidding! Yeah! He can't! <laughs> he cannot be stopped! I cannot <laughs> keep getting away with it! Stop it! <laughs> oh, man! Oh, <laughs> congratulations, congratulations. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to uh, cut to a different screen, and when we come back, we'll get some new people in here. for 12 years. What do you mean that's the code? Okay, well. Okay, sure. Oh, no, man. Uh... Binge pipe knows what you cool. like to watch, even when you can't articulate it. What do I like to watch? Um. Dumb. Alrighty, guys. Okay. Fire don't laugh. Jack. You're not supposed to laugh. It's. I know we did, but you're you're not supposed to. Don't okay? laugh. Okay. Don't, don't laugh. And, it's uh, it's very serious. Yeah. It's very dire. Three, two, one. Drug. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. And uh, while you're jumping into the game, uh, everybody have fun with that first round. Yeah, I, 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 all having I like a good that. time. Oh yeah. Risk taker. Hey kids, do you believe in a world? <clears throat> that, that, no, no laughing. No laughing. Hey, 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 no, hey, hey, hey. No laughing. You can say, "Oh my God!" Yes, that is a, a genuine that's, reaction. That's fine. That's fine. But hey, no laughing. No laughing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> People are dead! Evan Jacover, Stop laughing! Evan Jacover, best friend for hire. Well, <laughs> you monster! I hear you laughing too. Not at this, but at the fact that I'm laughing at dead people. Serious time. <laughs> Alright, let's jump into the next round. Sounds good. Alright, put your face on. Go! Oh my gosh. Time to jack up! Wait, 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 wait. No, we can't do that on stream. Please don't ban me for three days. No. Actually, since I'm a dude, I'll only get banned for like a day. Between the two of us, who do you think his tits would uh, get us banned? Because mine actually look like titties. Uh, mine. I could, I could dress them up. I could doll them up pretty good. I could pierce them. Ha! I got a stapler. 
Hey, no. Oh, it's a sailor remover. That's good enough. <laughs> no mutilation here. That's like a three-day ban. And since we've got some folks in overflow seating, I'll be tacking an audience bonus onto every question. The better the audience does on a question... It's the so SARS audience. <laughs> That's why there's so little of them. Be a lot of cash God. Right answer. Wow, that joke was so funny I couldn't breathe. <sighs> okay. So bring it back up. Round one. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's start with squid goals. Okay. What do you call a portable media player for squids? An eye arthropod, an eye cephalopod, an eye poropod, or an eye diplopod? Thank you, SpongeBob. Yep. Okay. I got it right then. I found a way yep. to speak like, you know, Splatoon. <laughs> that was rude. These are members of the cephalopod. A frozen crap. Holy, holy Krabby Patties! A frozen cephalopod! For Squidward! When he got sent to the future! Future! That's fun. God, I love when we're on scene <laughs> sync. <laughs> We'll do it live! And now, Ooh, that too is things. devilish. This must be a, a devilish question. around here sometimes, which is why I like to look at serious works of art. Georges Pierre Seurat's famous painting, A Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Jatte, is a classic example of pointillism featuring a tranquil scene in a park and... And? Is that? What the? F it couldn't be. There's a naked lady in this painting. There's a monkey. A monkey on a planted a tree wearing a cape or a clown. No, wait. Three clowns. If I remember this correctly. I, 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 got, I got one or one. It's one or the other. I, mm -hmm. might, I might be wrong. Cause, it's you know, fitty fitty for me. Would you believe I'm not an art guy? Hmm. Especially French paintings? Uh, especially, especially okay, French paintings. Okay, let's take a look. Any last words? Not too late. <laughs> oh. <laughs> A Sunday on Le Grand yep. Jot does feature a woman walking a monkey on a leash. That seems quite 18th century to do. Mm -hmm. featured monkeys, but the Last Supper would be. Why don't we do it with three? Question three. Next, I was enslaved by mad scientists, and judging by the movie sign. It's a diss or dat. I Moist. knew it. I knew it. What do we got for Mad Scientist? I'm going to read off seven titles, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a B movie spoofed. Oh, yeah! Son of a bitch! Yeah! Or an erotic novel. Oh, Jesus! Okay, you, you okay got here we go. Here we fucking go, You've people! Got a seven out of seven. Let's go, people! I don't believe it. An erotic novel. And you're all doing this together, so pay attention. Okay, let's do it. Conquered by dragons. Mm -hmm. Yep. The sinister urge. <laughs> that one's easy. Oh shit! Then it's MST3K, right? Yep. I got that wrong. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! My woolly mammoth boyfriend. I beg your pardon. There's no way that's MST3K. Of course not. Okay. Cool. Yes. Okay. Saber tooth lover. Ooh. Uh. Hmm. Actually. Uh, oh, 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 okay. oh man. Billionaire mummy likes booty. That's not. No. No. <laughs> I'm not. I, don't, I can't imagine Doctor Force saying. Our, <laughs> this week, <laughs> our, sorry, our experiment is William Penn with booty. <laughs> what? Seven to seven, I told you. Boom, man. Hell yeah. I know my erotic, I mean, uh, Mama C3K. Uh-huh. Customer fidelity. Looks like it's screw time. That is the truth, Cookie. What is MST3K? Oh man, you've got some homework to do. Mystery Science Theater 3000. It's an old show where a bunch, where a guy and a couple of puppets make fun of old B movies, and it is hilarious. And the basis, it's one of the four horsemen of the basis of my comedy. It's fantastic. You have a lot of catching up to do. You will, you will enjoy yourself. 
Coming up next, my car runs on dead dinosaurs. Oh. <laughs> I just got a Jurassic parking fee that's the same as the length of the Jurassic era. Oh. How do I have to pay? Mm. $8 million, $54 million, $430 million, or $1 billion? I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. I think I should guess lower. Hope you like what you picked. Can't do anything right, can you? I think it's just I knew 54. It. Yeah, yeah, I should have guessed lower. About 54 million years. Yes. It may seem like a lot to pay for parking, but it's still cheaper than taking a ride share during peak hours. And how'd our lovely audience do? Good news! This audience is clueless. That's <laughs> dealing out bonus cash for that right answer. Buy yourself something hey. nice. I will, Cookie. Thank you. Do you see that? Our, Our secret, secret sibling. sibling. That guy in the back. <laughs> there is no hiding from. Everyone deserves to be sassy. So okay. Yes, Netflix they do. Preach. A show that is now just called Queer Eye, which is great news. <gasps> Shit. My yes. Understanding of conditioner has not improved since 2007. If the Queer Eye crew decided to solely focus on helping those with just one eye, which makeover would we not see? Tan shops with Mad-Eye Moody, John gives Odin a fun new hairstyle, oh. Bobby teaches Sauron about manscaping. Well, oh, that's a fun question. Hellboy believe in himself. Holy shit, that's a great question. Yeah, it is. Wow. I just hope that my uh, lack of watching Hellboy doesn't come to bite me. I think you'll be fine. Who picked what? Norse god Odin is traditionally depicted with one eye. Now yep. don't be a Thor loser. That's right, I oh. said it. <laughs> Hellboy has horns, a stone hand, and two working eyes. Yep, no thank you, okay. You. The eye of Sauron is one, and Mad-Eye Moody only had one real eye. I mean, Sauron the man probably has two eyes, but Sauron the entity, as he exists in Lord of the Rings, might have, you know, I mean, you know, anyway. I think they're going with the more well-known one, you know, the big fiery eyeball. By the way, Jonathan from Queer Eye is Bay. Currently, Just player one is in the lead. Oh my god. What the hell? And on That's the not other right. other end of the spectrum, these players are doing the bad thing. So here come the screws. Ooh. And don't forget, Ooh. round two screws. Enjoy your screws, screws player and three and five. For each player that answers wrong. So don't be shy about using them. The rest of you better answer fast before you get screwed. Oh, and uh, remember, double the money. Are worth twice as much in round two. Touching people. Bank. Six trombones is not a parade. Next. Is that how it was in Marching Man? Thrones sort of. Game of Thrones. Oh, good lord. What Ian McEwan novel would Cersei Lannister and her brother Jamie most identify with and enjoy as part uh. of their winter book club? Amsterdam, The Children Act, The Cement Garden, or a... The what on earth? Duh! Player three decided to screw. Hey, who's ready for uh, identity theft? That's sexy. Thanks. Oh... Uh, sure. Uh, go. Uh, it just let me change my name. I didn't do- I, I, I didn't do that. I'm now meh. I'm, I'm still UDJ. Thank you for the achievement, by the way. Let's see how that shook out. Ian McEwen's The Cement Garden is about a brother and sister who fall in love, so I don't really speak to Cersei and Jamie Lannister. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> that was a that was a good one. That was a guess. Yeah. Also, brilliant screw. Screwed player three. Enjoy your cash. Bravo. You get money for everyone who got it wrong. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Is that an improvement? I keep my name. Meh. Mobility. Divorce detective. <laughs> Call it! <laughs> What's the teddy bear? Octopus <laughs> coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? Uh huh. Octopus coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? It's monster. <laughs> Paired with Kanye in Madonna's song Illuminati. Octopus coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? What? Hmm. Uh. Brace yourself. Oh, good lord. Player five has invoked the screw. You guys remember your password, right? Oh! Uh. Enter the. What password? The, the one on the text box. And how'd we do? Shit! Yeah. This might be discouraging. <laughs> 
The lyrics to Madonna's Illuminati actually begin by saying the Illuminati isn't Queen Elizabeth or Kanye. But Queen Elizabeth wow. and Kanye West are both in my top five fashion icons list. Nicely screwed, player five. Good job, good job. That was a hell of a screw there. I need to get, I need to get back up there. I need to actually win a damn game. You're, you're doing, you're doing good. I'm trying my best. This one's called Thievery is in Fashion. And hey, stress cut with mime sore. No. It's time for a Jibber's question. Think fast on this one. The longer you take, the less cash you make. Okay, eyes up. Here we go. Read this gibberish phrase and tell me what show title it rhymes with. Taking the fur for her. And don't let that punctuation fool you. A Netflix documentary series. Boom. Mm. Focused on homicide. Oh, uh, I, I don't know this. Trouble. I know. Real big trouble. Taking the fur for her. Creating killers. Cookie, that doesn't help. I don't watch things. Actually, it does help a lot. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know this. Because it's okay, making a murderer. Down. Player three? I Yeah, I, I've never watched it. Or do. Who else took a shot? <laughs> I can't stand the suspense. What is it? Hey -o! Making a murderer. Whoa. Yeah, I've never heard of that before. Right along. Who is she? I need to know her name. I need to know her name. Here's one I like to call Welcome to the Jungle again and again and again. <laughs> I think what made Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle so great is that they added a Guns N' Roses song to the name for no discernible reason. Which of these potential Jumanji sequels does not have a Guns N' Roses song awkwardly tacked on to the title? Jumanji Civil War, Jumanji Paradise City, Jumanji Knocking on Heaven's Door, or Jumanji uh, Back in Black? I don't know these either. Thank you uh, to, my, to my mom for being a classic rock fan. I mean, I hate Guns N' Roses, but I do like the other band that they're referencing in here who's, uh, yeah. Okay, who chose what? Knocking on Heaven's Door, Paradise City, and Civil War. Back in Black is ACDC. Songs. So they would, of course. Oh, does not shit. Title like an awkward glove. Well, I'm back but to not being able to read questions. DC song. That's how they get you. Do you like now, Jeopardy is the exact know same sure thing. The Guns and Roses have been writing their songs. I, I already the franchise in mind all these years. <laughs> I believe that this is all just some crazy coincidence. <laughs> okay, this moon landing is fake. <laughs> How to make friends and fencing? I love it. Cannibalism. Oh. Ooh. I live in constant fear. There's a fourth little pig that we never talk about. Instead of wood or brick, he built his house out of cottage bacon, which is his brother's leg, his father's shoulder, his mother's face, or his own butt. Whatever. Hmm. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't live in a cottage. Okay, what'd you pick? I guessed. Yes. His own butt. <laughs> uh, no! Uh, wow, that's kind of dark for a white meat. <laughs> cottage bacon comes from a pig's shoulder. <sighs> was already suspicious of a story where pigs knew how to work with wood and bricks, but this was the last straw. Hey! Uh, hoo -hoo 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 -hoo. Time for the jack attack! All right! Everything will shift here, I'm sure. It's time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on yeah, your I hate, I hate this guy's like, Avengers, I know of it! Oh, what's the example? The more oh, it's the example. Make, and more than one Superman. Right. But I wish he joined up with Iron Man. Some cash away. And don't forget. Remember the clue. It's gotta be. Almost nothing without the suit! It's clue. 
Oh, brothers who are. Ooh, okay. Uh -huh. Brothers. Families. I don't think we're gonna get any Osamatsu kun questions. Yeah, I, d I don't know the bald ones. Oh, mm. brother, now you do. I do. Ooh. Uh... Woohoo! Max money on that one. I never read those dumb books. Bam! Da -da 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 -da. He, had, he had four brothers. Uh, he had six. Uh... Oh shit! Uh. Oh my god, please. There we go. Jesus. That was that was That awful. was so mean. Ouch. Ouch. I was expecting them to be in the first four, and then they weren't. Neither none of them bad. were. Bluth! I, uh, <laughs> Away money. I don't think this is gonna be a good round. Goblin Buster. Oh, what is this? Oh God, no. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, fine. I'll take a little bit of money. Oh shit. What? <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know these! Uh, okay, sure. Oh, th th this is a wild These are run. rough! Oof. These are so rough! Oh, where does that even leave us now? I don't even know. Come on, me! Oh. Oh my god! Yes! Yeah! Finally! We finally won one! Yeah! Let's go finally won one! Woo! It took an entire month! <laughs> yes! You don't know Jack, but I at least know enough to get first! Congrats, that was rough! Oh my Ooh. god! It was wow. so much! You wanna do another round? We'll do one more round to close everything out. One for all the tokens. This one, we're just gonna open up the we're gonna open up the room when we come back and it's first come, first serve. Yeah, 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 baby. Yep. One second. Do I hear an eighth player? It's open for you. Mm, come on in. Number eight. Come on down to side your face. Ain't no need to hate. It's time for question eight. What hat? Over there. I uh, hope to the that tiger. you already ate. My grandfather's? Cause it is time for number eight. This game is gonna be great. When we get contestants eight. Wow, how about that episode? 30 seconds, guys. After facing some criticism that the show has lost its way and that the writers They respond. And we'll go for Show. I'm still in shock that Michael is a shape-shifting How long wait, do it, we have to wait, wait for contestant <laughs> number eight? He's but not by your gay, out. but he's straight says, when he's thinking about question eight. But he's got a lot on his plate when he's thinking about eating number eight. Let's go! explain how I ended up on this mountain. We've had Skadoosh! All right. Binge Pipe has mixed feelings about presenting You Don't Know Jack. Has mixed feelings. Yeah, that would probably be some of our sponsors. We have sponsors? We will soon. Ow! I, I hope. Welcome to the game. I'm your host, Cookie, and if you mute me, I will find out about it. What a friendly group of people, and one person playing this game against their will. 
you all. Oh, they were too late. <laughs> and welcome to all of you in the audience who couldn't be It's sponsored by Raid. Adding an audience <laughs> bonus just for you. The more audience to drink and lemonade. The the I think I will really drink some power Alright, let's go. You don't know Jack just crushed my audience. Now, remember, what the heck? How oh, dare they? You will be forever changed. Forever changed. God, it's like I'm first jumping up. into a Tony Hawk game whenever that first one comes around. Yeah, 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 yeah! Exactly. Who's there? The first person to make a knock-knock joke. Mark Twain who? Oh, good who? God! Who? Oh, really? <laughs> Fuck! Uh, that, is, that is such a hard question! I'm just taking a guess, cuz... Yeah, that, I took a guess. That, that guy's my dude. One of the greatest humorists of our age. You think it's C? Yeah, I think it's A. I love this part. Aren't you glad you didn't guess banana? Yes. <laughs> I hate to lead you on. None of you got it. William Shakespeare is the first author to use what? the phrase knock knock who's there to set up a joke in recorded history. Wow! Nobody got this that. That was a rough one. I didn't expect uh, Bill Shakes. Wow. The country path. It gave him more credit than I thought. He's a cool guy, I guess. Land! <laughs> Oopsie! Behold. Look, I didn't see it either, but I still know who's in it. Which actor from the 2017 movie Justice League is probably the most badass in real life oh, really? in military training? The one who played Superman, the one who played Batman, the uh, one who played Woman, or the one who played Aquaman? I'm, I is it Jason? It's not Jason Momoa. I regret to know this. Is it Affleck? Nope. Well, chose him anyway because Batman. It's probably Jason Momoa. The guy's ripped. Aquaman is never the right answer. <laughs> Superman is super wrong. Ooh. Yes, he is. It's Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot served two years in the Israeli Defense Forces as a combat trainer. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's kind of why people don't like to work with her anymore she because she's the scientist about it now. Oh, no. well, whatever. Hiss and honey, stop it, buddy! <laughs> Eric ruins Halloween. Why Same show, apparently. Masters of a very small part of the universe. And Got some He-Man. Tiny plastic sword. It's time. For oh, this. we're gonna have some He-Man yeah, questions in a dist or dad. Is it gonna be a He-Man character, or is it gonna be a, a name of a, a celestial object? A character from the original line. Yeah. He-Man. He-Man toys. toys. A failed social network <gasps> by Google. That's awesome. Fast, you'll only get a few I am between knowledgeable in both of these. Or Google. Very strange. Google. Here we go. Together, so look alive. Ready? Good. Wave. Nice. Yep. Stratos. Mm. Yep. Okay. Cut. Oh shoot! Really? Really? Oh, oh damn it! Fuck you! You don't know Jack. Uh, you don't know June's canceled. Ooh. Oh damn! Buzz. Mm hmm. Google Buzz sounds right. Yep, Google Buzz. Fisto. <laughs> no one's gonna buy Google Fisto. Damn it! What do you mean it's not Google? <laughs> I mean, it's not Google Fisto! <laughs> Scale of marketing! <laughs> oh, I don't need you any four. I just heard that. Wow. Slide and kick into my DMs. Because it's like a dick in my... How would Never mind. Zero from Mortal Kombat subtweet an opponent? Hey, at Jax, I'm gonna freeze your account. At Reptile Ooh. hiding behind a rock? Hashtag coward. Ah. Not. Retweet at Johnny Cage. I'm better than at Sub-Zero. Or Raiden is shockingly dumb. Hmm. I, I think I got it wrong, but we'll see. Loading. Yeah? Anybody? Loading. Hello? Who picked what? Is that your best? Yeah. 
Finish them. Damn it. Oh, ah! shit. I knew it was B. Correct answer. Reveal yourself. Subtweeting Fuck. is when someone on Twitter makes a disparaging comment about another user without using their username. Ooh. Uh, huh. I like to sub subtweet, which is saying terrible things about people out loud and then not make Mr. Wiggly's conundrum. <laughs> Ruined my <laughs> <an> English stuff. <laughs> Not these days. They're Counting they're to doing... a million takes like now, 30 days. Getting real for a second. Uh-oh. Which PC keyboard command produces a symbol that looks like my cat's butthole? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, 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 mine is not working. Mine either. Refresh. Can you pause it? Uh, d yes. Okay. Uh, you're not connecting? Okay, it must have... They might be doing uh, server maintenance. Or it just fucked up when they did that big lag spike there. Uh, error joining the game. I think our game's done, guys. Yeah, I think it is. Ah, oh, shoot. Aww. Well, that's one for each of us. It can't end like this. It can't end like it can't this. can't end like this. Let's do it again. Go again! One sec! Let's do it one more time. One more time. I had a time. Dun, 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 come inside and watch something. Bam, 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 bam. Somehow we got an extra player in here, so that's fantastic. Might be the guy who's in the audience. Oh, possibly. So we're all we're all here. Yes. Again, if you would like to join the audience, please. Ah! Ow! Go bowling. Hi, I'm your host, Cookie Masterson, and when I put on the sorting hat, it told me I had lice. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> Head to head to head to head competition. Nice. And since we've got an audience, how about we make this interesting and add an audience bonus to every question? The better the audience does. Do it, you coward. Let's go. Bonus money goes to the players. Do it, you won't. But if the audience really calling your bluff, it, man. That right answer is going to be worth big bucks. Big buckaroonies. Big old bucko. Big old bucks. Okay, what are we waiting for? Did I ever tell you my favorite Animaniacs joke ever? It was a fingerprints. It was during Yakko's Big Wish. And uh, when the guy gets the hey penny, he wishes, I wish for a million bucks. No, two million bucks. And then he gets run over by a bunch of deer. Call me Chadwick or call me Channing. Hmm. See, I didn't see that one. I saw the fault in our stars. I don't know. I hope it wasn't C. Hope you like what you picked. Oh, ouch. <laughs> Piss. Army Hammer is one of the main stars of Call Me By Your Name. Oh. Yeah, I definitely got that wrong. Someone well, piss. I chose D. Masterson, I say please, Mr. Masterson. All right, we're all on brand except for Meme who's currently blowing us all away. <laughs> Meme and Neffy. And how oh yeah. Do on that one. That's a lot of negative down there. The it is. And they get even more money. And uh, probably another 500 on top. Yep. Son of a bitch. All right. Upward battle. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Here we go. Not so fast. Try this on for size. The Nini's have it. <laughs> oh no. What does it mean if you refer to Real Housewife Nini Leaks as Nini Leaks, nay Johnson? She's changing her name to Johnson. Her maiden name was Johnson. Her nickname is Johnson, or she's from a town called Johnson. Talking about name changes. Mm. Yeah, name. Let's change. see who got it. Nope. Nay, after someone's name, is used to refer to their maiden or former name. Correct. Boing. Boing. What? On top of that. Say it. Laughably minor adversity. <laughs> <laughs> Gross animals. <laughs> the secret life of high school guidance right. counselors. That's and awesome. Indies. And it's an Irish, Scottish, dis or dat. Mickey D's nuts. I'm going to read off In your face, cookie. Names, and for each Mickey D's. I want you to tell me if 
Your last name starts with a Mac, or your last name starts with a Mac. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Okay, okay, okay. We are okay. so screwed. Are we? Oh, well, I mean, the audience will probably do fine. I know, I'm screwed. Let's see. Ready? Let's go. James McAvoy. Ooh. See, I like questions like these. Damn it. Hmm. Ewan McGregor. Uh. Yes. Yep. Oh. McGregor. Oh, I got that wrong. Shit. I, that one I was clicked right. No, oh, it was. Fuck. What? I'm. Yes. What is happening? The, what, what is the happening? Hell? What the hell? Okay, that one is is real, right? I'm getting mad. Hey, there we go. Shirley McLean. Damn it. That one. God. Okay, that one. Yes, I definitely know. What? Oh shit! I didn't know really? as many as I thought. Nobody knew that. Us, but player six, you couldn't have done much worse. Been That's not true, Cookie. It could have been a zero out of six. Sounds like it's screw time. <laughs> Oof. It, it would have been even more scathing, I bet. Maybe even sympathetic. Maybe even pity. Aw, look at you. Congrats on your screw, Neffy. Use it wisely. And no Paul McCartney? Come on. bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. Ah, yeah. Thanks for that. I feel very silly that I didn't know more than I did. But thankfully, there's hoodie promises. Patterson! Lunch orders. Hand coming Next out of the ocean. Awesome. Get a dateline. Say the events of Fyodor Dostoevsky's classic novel, Crime and Punishment, are featured in an episode of Dateline <laughs> NBC. Mm -hmm. What the episode title would make the most sense? The Ingenue's fateful bride. The pawnbroker and the murderer. The landlord's last lease. Oh, Definitely had to guess for this one. Yep, me too. I don't know shit me about too. either of these things. I don't know shit about Dateline. I, I've never read Crime and Punishment. D Dateline is a show where um, uh, Chris Hansen would show up. Oh. This is the correct answer. Or is it? Oh. An answer most foul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In Crime and Punishment, the protagonist, mm. Rodion Raskolnikov, murders that sounds about right to me. Woman. I mean, I'm trying to think what Russians are right about when you're talking about crime and punishment. That sounds about right. Very nice. He did it explicitly. Nasty Toby! <laughs> Which one's Toby? I did. Oh. Passive aggressive piece of the, of the deep. deep. Hell yeah. <laughs> My brother's so cool. I can't wait to meet her. If I'm trying to appear Byronic in my online dating profile, which poem should I reference in my Son opening? Son of a bitch. The woman who walks in beauty, trying to take the road not taken. Tiger, tiger, what you doing tonight? Or shall I... <laughs> oh, no. These are hard questions. They are. They're, they're, they're uh, not pulling any punches here. Uh, Let's see how that shook out. No! Look. Lord Byron wrote, She Walks in Beauty. Wow. I didn't read Lord Byron. All I need is an Good job, Joshy. Man named Percy and Nailed it. He's, he's fluttering, jump up into the lead, it seems. Round one is officially behind us. How's everyone doing? Oh, well, we've got two people in the positive, I think? Uh, three. Uh, actually, sorry, I saw a negative sign. Uh, two in the positive, and one dead zero, and... Is zero positive or negative? Maybe I said something. It's, it's, it's zero. It's it's a special boy. The wild card. It's, it's a special boy. Enjoy your screws. You know, what's funny is that you do just good enough to not get a screw. Is that good or bad? Did I mention all the Money yes. yes. <laughs> really good stuff. Hey, I'm the mirror of your score, buddy. <laughs> Coming up next, type equals. Oh, we already got this one. Female, comma, author. Wow, we're already hitting repeat questions. We should know this one then, right? Yeah. Hopefully, everybody was paying attention. Sure is a lot of user data, huh? Some people would say too much. Maybe it's just Those a different kind of question. Are wrong. Governess wanted. Yeah. Fire insurance policies. 
What's in the attic? Search denied. You must never go into the attic. Whose search history have we uncovered? Agatha Christie, Virginia Woolf, Toni Morrison, or Charlotte Bronte? That's a big old guess from me. Uh oh! Player eight decided to screw. I was waiting for it. Let's upside down. Hopefully, you guys get it right. Crush fingers. Oh, right, the screws have special effects. Yeah. Oh, nice job, nice job. Okay, let's take a look. Well, too late now. Ah! Charlotte Bronte wrote Jane Eyre, a classic novel that features a governess, a house fire, and a secret locked up in the attic. Dead ass now guess. I, now I'm your. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> dead ass guess. That was a good dead ass guess. There's no way you'd ever I'm still losing. Excellent screwing player eight. Have some cash. Thousand. Yep, thousand bucks. Particle pirate! <laughs> Take a good look at. Make like a hot drink and leaves. Which of these is not a real type of tea that can be spilled? Ooh. I heard Chad steals green tea. So watch out. Oh dear. Player seven has spilled. Uh... Your answers are on the go. Got it. I really don't know. I definitely got this wrong, but I still have, good. I have no idea. So who got it? Rumor is, you're wrong. <laughs> there is no tea variety officially known Damn. as red tea. That I chose was, white. That was my next guess. Ah, oh, shit. But Brent really does need to get his life together. Yeah, because green exists, now, black tea exists. Seven, I chose white. I this belongs to you. Congratulate. Whoa, Ooh. big payday. Santa can't read. <laughs> I knew it was random. I, I like knew it. You the illusion of control. Oh, here you go. Would you like a question that involves some quiet time or a question that interrupted? Yep, interrupted. Use interrupted. your device to select your preference. Everybody choose what you want, but interrupted, please. <clears throat> interrupted, please. Mm, do me a favor and interrupt. Interrupted, please. Interrupt. 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 Yeah, interrupt, please. There can only be one. <laughs> the choices. That's awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Oh, uh, who's the outlier? Your choice. Want a quiet time? Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. How about this one? A question that keeps getting into. Hiya, Corky. Old man, what are you doing here? I got a job at Binge Pie. Oh, like one of those retail greeters? I'm vice president of international acquisitions. What? No, you're not. It's a funny story, actually. <laughs> See, my great great granddaughter mm -hmm. knows a guy who mm -hmm. knows a guy yeah. who knows mm -hmm. a gal. Actually. That's really not mm -hmm. interesting. I I remember know. meeting once at the gym. <clears throat> yeah, that's 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 great. Whatever. So I'm anyway, kind of busy doing this question right now. Well, do it already. If I are you starting? <sighs> yes, old man, I am. <laughs> hey, did I tell you about my latest sword? No, I got one. Not, a not the swords. Not Please no. Man, or ever. Where was I? Okay, it, um, if I got tired of people constantly interrupting me, and I- Lemon Square? <laughs> no! Where did you get Lemon Squares? Oh, now that's a story! Well then, I please. Was the consequences of our actions. I did mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I will finish this question. If I got tired of people constantly interrupting me, and wanted to move to the least densely populated country Ooh. in the world, to get some freaking peace and quiet, where should I go? <laughs> There! You happy? What? Or is it <laughs> South Africa, the United States, or Greenland? Hmm. I definitely got that wrong. See, I figured Johannesburg would make up for a lot of that. I love yeah. this part. Ah, Brazil! Beautiful country in the spring. There's a lot of big cities in Brazil. The Amazon isn't that big. It's pretty big, though. There's people living there, too. Mm -hmm. When they go in the brush, you know, and, it's, and there's prickers in there. The consequences of our actions. 
Greenland is by far the least crowded country in the world, with nice. only about 0.03 people per square kilometer. How did you get that wrong? Why did you think you got that? You got it right. I just took a wild guess. It was, it was a correct guess. Good job. I'm happy. I'm happy. Great job. I'm in the positive somehow. They're killing us, Goodbye, old man. The consequences of our act. Okay. Never bring him back. The bathroom finder. Whoa. Is that like a Doctor Who knockoff? Feast your eyes upon this. Grab your hi hat. We're going exploring. If musicians use the same terminology as cartographers, <laughs> what would trap music be? A bleak tune that's dangerous to track, an unexplored synthesized beat, a track that's off limits to the public, or a Ooh. song that doesn't exist. Hmm. No, me! Uh, no. Blech. Cartographers used non-existing trap roads or landmarks to. Uh, damn. If they appeared in other maps. Uh, Kirby's rocking ahead on this one. Style. Kirby killing it. Yeah, he is. The Jack he's, Attack. He's, he's eating everything. Is, yeah, my name is Torval. <laughs> Spring break. With the Hello, sticks. my name is Torvald. Oh, I don't do that at all, Cookie. Okay, Sapphire Gin update its name to New Delhi Sapphire, Agra Sapphire, <laughs> Kathmandu Sapphire. <laughs> what the hell? Sure. That's it's a shitty guess. That's yeah, that's such that's a, a really shit really guess. Shitty guess. Oh, that's awesome. Who picked what? <sighs> in 1995, the Indian city Damn of Bombay it. changed its name to Mumbai. Wow! Ask any bartender. You'd be surprised how many martinis are sent back because of geographical inaccuracies. <laughs> <laughs> People get snooty about their gin. It's ridiculous. Jack attack! They have a shot of beef eater and all of a sudden, ooh, I'm fancy. Mm, I love the taste of pine needles. an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you Alright, right so if nothing happens, happens Kirby wins this. More than one by answer. far. Right. Unless if he, like, does a quick draw McDumbass type deal and uh, just, you know, yep. gets wrong, 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 I mean, who would do that? No one would ever do that. Not unless they're throwing for content. You haven't, you haven't edited that one yet. Follow the yellow Ooh, okay. What did Dorothy warn me about again? Good luck. Okay, here we go. Jack attack, here we go. Okay. Hmm. Ba 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 Okay. I didn't get one of those. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I only got one of those. That was disgusting. Yeah, me too. Oh, lame is really. Oh, got it. God, Detroit is in all of these. What? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I can't believe it! Ooh, I shouldn't have guessed that. If I wasn't confident on it. Bam, bam! Oh, Susanna, huh? Oh. My! Susanna! Oh, what? Really? Alright, alright. Ah! <sighs> One more round, maybe? One more, I think. The oh, what? Oh, that was so fucking dumb. Why did you do that, me? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Is that it? I think that's it. 
And yep, that's it. let's we see got, it. What we got? What we, we got? Do we have an audience win? Yeah, we do. Boom! Oh! Hey, with the win! A commanding lead. Wow! I am nowhere to be seen. I'm probably dead in a ditch somewhere. Cookie killed me. Fantastic! Good job, man! Woo! Woo! Good job! Friggin' destroyed it! I got one. You got one. And the audience got one. One of our friends at home got one. Yay! I think we've spread the love pretty evenly, and I think we've all proven that in some degree we all do indeed. No Jack. I somehow still got close to the middle. Excuse me. What is this garbage? You got better. You got smarter. I don't know what you I don't feel like it. Well, you did. Well, thanks everybody for coming. Yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. This brings an end, at least to the broadcast, of You Don't Know June. And next week on Bargain Bin Lounge, it's back to the ordinary schedule. And I've got uh, something that's been pilling around the Switch dollar bin yeah. for a while. And I think it's time to indulge in some curiosities. I've, I've, I've got a few in the in yeah. the chamber. Yeah, yeah. Right. okay, okay. This was fun. I'd, I'd love to come back to this someday. This was just way too much fun to yeah, do definitely. only once. So, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be back for more You Don't Know Jack sometime down in the future. We'll be back for more Bargain Bin Lounge next week. See you then. Bye, everybody.